If you're a fan of sniping, then Modern Warfare 3 has you covered, as sniping is definitely back this year, and you'll have no trouble leveling up in shipment. But if you're like me and rarely use snipers or just not very good with them, the game mode I'm going to recommend is called Invasion. What could be easier than sitting on a roof shooting bots over and over? Make sure to have a long range build which I'll be showing you at the end of this video and I would also recommend the use of tactical insurgents, that way if you're killed you're right back in the action. The main trick to invasion is finding where bots spawn and making sure you have a clear line of sight to take them out. Helicopters spawn in the same locations each game and often bots fly in via parachute. Knowing the spawns will feed you not only easy kills but good amounts of weapon XP. Once you've leveled up it's now time to switch from invasion to either shipment or war. Like I mentioned earlier I'm not the best sniper so the game mode war will be slightly easier and far less stressful. The first of the basic challenges is to get 50 kills and this is a pretty easy start. The second challenge is to get 50 kills shortly after ADSing which can be done in a couple of ways. Firstly I'd recommend a class that has a quick ADS speed and I'd recommend the best build for each sniper at the end of this video. The next step is to decide if you want to stick with a scope or change to an optic. Some people may find this challenge easier with a 25 times sight or even a red dot sight rather than a proper sniper scope. Lastly, you need to make sure you have fully aimed in for this to count. We're not looking for quick scopes, we need to be fully aimed in before registering a kill for this to actually count. The third challenge is to get 3 kills in one mag and the first step is making sure the mag size is big enough. You don't exactly need the largest mag, just one you know that 3 kills can easily be achieved. This challenge is a little bugged so make sure you reload after the third kill regardless of how much ammo is left in the mag. If you die on two kills then sometimes your first kill in the next life actually counts if you haven't reloaded. And lastly kills in hardcore sometimes don't count. The last of the basic challenges is to get 15 one shot kills which by now will probably be done if you maxed out an invasion but regardless 15 one shot kills shouldn't be an issue. If you do find yourself with lots of hit markers then I'd recommend a quick switch to hardcore hardpoint. Gilded or gold is up next and we're required to get 10 kills while focused down sights. All this means is you need to hold your breath while taking the shot. Once you've aimed in you'll see a command pop up to press in the left stick in order to focus. This will hold your breath for a short while and in this time you'll need to get the kill. Hold it for too long and you'll breathe out meaning that you'll need to wait a second before being able to hold your breath once again. Lastly we move on to forge and each sniper has a different challenge. Starting with the hardest by far which is the cat AMR and we need to get 15 penetration kills. To make this easier you want to attach armor piercing rounds and also equip snapshot grenades as seeing through walls is always a bonus. One method is to continue in war and find little spots like I did where enemies often run, allowing you to easily predict where the enemy will be. Shots through glass can sometimes count so it's well worth trying any windows that are available on the map. And lastly a good method is to jump into high rise 24 7 and try shooting through the metal chain fences. Up next is the longbow and we need to get 25 kills while ADS and also fully loaded. All this means is you'll need to reload after every single shot and like the basic challenge just make sure you're fully aimed in for this one to count. Switch into the smallest mag and add in the perk mag holster is going to make reloading as quick as possible. If you find yourself struggling with hit markers then hop across the hardcore as every shot will be a one shot kill. The final challenge is for the KB inhibitor and we need to get 25 headshot kills. I found this quite easy in war as a lot of players camp objectives or even windows just meaning they aren't moving as much so it's an easier shot. We also have the chance to set up and look over the objectives ourselves where enemies will be occupied by other players. Try keep a bit of a distance between you and your enemy and you won't need to be so quick with the shot, you can line it up instead. Lastly, don't be afraid to miss, you're aiming for a much smaller target with the head than the body, meaning bad misses are going to happen. For the last part of this video I'm going to show you two builds for each sniper, a quick scoping and a long range build that I would personally use. Feel free to copy these or change one or two things that suit you better. As always thank you for watching, don't forget to like if the video has helped you. Subscribe if you want to see more guides like this especially into season 1 and I'll see you in the next one.